Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to actually grow your business. And I don't care how big your business is. I don't care whether it is it, like a brand new business and you're just getting started. Or whether it's bigger, like you're going, maybe you're up to you know a few hundred thousand, maybe a million dollars or more, or maybe the, the businesses that I like to work with, which are in that three to five million up to about $50 million range, or maybe even bigger. Here's how to actually grow your business. It's the number one way. It's what we're talking about in Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Today, the number one way to grow your business is to find the biggest sales and marketing problem and solve it. Find the biggest sales and marketing problem and solve it. Leads, clients, sales, profits, usually it's one of those. So, okay, we have a whole sales team sitting around, but they don't have enough leads to talk to. They don't have appointments booked on their calendar. Let's get some leads. We're, we're trying to sell some, we're trying to sell whatever, you know, direct to consumer product that we have online. We don't have enough people viewing our sales message. Well, we probably still need more leads, right? Or we have a bunch of leads. We have like this, this uh, list of people who are super engaged with us or an audience of people who are super engaged with us, but they're not turning into high paying clients for our services, high ticket clients. Okay, well, let's find a way to turn them into clients, right? Um, okay, we're, we're not making enough revenue. We're not making enough sales. Okay, what is it about the sales that we're making if we have a decent number of customers coming in the door that doesn't support the economics that we want in terms of top line revenue? Okay, but the profit margins aren't good enough. What can we do in terms of profits? Breaking it down, I mean, those are, those are buckets that I use to think through the process and that kind of takes you through the customer life cycle, right? But the whole point is that we just need to identify, like, want to grow your business? Oh, you're not talking to any leads? Well, you probably need to go out and talk to some leads, right? You're not getting any people in the door. You probably need to get some people in the door. And make this problem, make the solution to this problem your number one thing until the solution is implemented. Up to whatever standards you've set as far as, I will know that this is done when, right? And if you have a team, right? If you have a bigger business, you want to make this the team's priority, not just your priority. You make this the team's priority. And each member of the team has personal contributions to make. They have a personal metric that they may use to measure success or a personal list of items that they need to get done as part of creating the solution to the problem. But you define like, okay, this is what we're working on this week, team. Okay, we're going out there to solve this problem. This is what we're trying to accomplish. And you wanna grow your business, you do this, and you do it on repeat. When you're done solving one problem, then you find the next biggest sales and marketing problem. Maybe it's a problem that already existed that was number two and now it's number one, and maybe it's a new problem that was created because problem one did a good job of, of solving the initial problem but created a new one. And in the context of this, this is something that I feel like I need to have beaten into my head on a regular basis. Priority for the longest time was not a plural word. It's based on the Latin term a priori, which you may actually hear used now. It's used, I believe, in the legal profession. It means what is before, what comes before. And there's like one thing, it's like, who is at the front of the line? You don't say who are at the front of the line, right? You say who is at the front of the line because it is a singular option, right? One person can stand at the front of the line. It is the thing that becomes that comes before everything else, your priority. Priorities, as soon as you have priorities, plural, it becomes meaningless. All the things can't be priority one. All the things can't come before. All the things can't be the one thing, the one person at the front of, you know, you, you have a whole class full of students. All the students can't stand at the front of the line. It doesn't work that way. So you have to define, you know, going back to that problem solution, right? Find the biggest marketing, sales and marketing problem and solve it. That is your priority single. Okay? There's going to be other stuff you have to get done throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, throughout your year. But that, that thing, that one thing is the thing that you're working on right now. It's your big rock that you're looking to complete, that you're looking to uh, take over the finish line, right? 
And the real secret to getting anything done, the real secret to getting anything done is <laughs> to do it, right? Uh, what gets done first gets done. So you want something to get done today, do it first in the morning. I don't care if it's the big thing, the little thing, the hard thing, the easy thing. You want it to get done first, wake up and do it, okay? If you put it off for later, you're gonna to struggle to get it done and the emotional weight of not having it done is going to continue to drag you down. So do it first, right? Find a way to put it in front of everything else. Decide what needs to be done first and do it. And if doing this is a big project for you, like if you are running a business and um, you have a team involved, right? You do have to start to break it down a little bit because everybody's priority is not necessarily, note I said priority singular here, is not necessarily writing the headline, right? Then you get too many cooks in the kitchen. You get all of this, like all these people messing it up because they're all trying to come at it from a bunch of different angles, right? So you break it down. Who needs to do what? You delegate what needs to get accomplished. You define the destination and the success factors, right? Like, uh, you know, this is what we're all working towards. This is what success is gonna look like. This is what doing looks like, and this is what done's gonna look like. Here's the success criteria. We're gonna know this is cross the finish line when, right? We know what has to be true for the product project to be finished, right? And you define that, and every moment, Somebody should have, everybody on the team should have something at the front of their line. And today, today it may be one thing that I need to get done, or today it may be five things that I need to get done, but I'm going to get them done one at a time based on what is the priority, the next thing in line, right? Because you can always only ever be doing one thing. And if you are working with a team, you know, do regular check-ins. You help people stay on top of things by regularly checking in and providing support, you know, asking, hey, what are you up to? You know, what have you accomplished already? What are you working on next? And um, is there anything that I can do to help? Is there anything standing in your way, right? Like do regular check-ins. There's the whole like scrum and agile process for, com it comes out of the, the like software development world, but it's just as relevant for marketing, um, even if some of the intricacies of the process are not the, the principles and strategies of like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a sprint. We have this big destination that we're looking to get to and we're gonna check in along the way to see where people are running into obstacles and we're gonna help them work through the obstacles and everybody's gonna pull their weight. Like all of that stuff is super relevant. So you wanna grow your business, solve a big problem, solve the biggest problem in sales and marketing. Just do it, just find it and solve it. Identify the big problem, right, and solve it. And so my call to action for you at the end of this episode is number one, ask yourself how can you use this? What big sales or marketing problem do you have in your business? Like I said, you could just be trying to launch your business, you could just be getting it off the ground and your big sales and marketing problem could be, I don't have clarity on my offer yet. And that's okay, right? Like, I don't know who I'm going to serve and I don't know exactly what I'm going to sell them. Well, that's the thing you figure out early. And then when you figure that out, there's the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. You're solving one big problem after another. And at some point you end up with like, you know, you could, you could have a, a $50 million business. You could have a $50 million business and you're just looking for the next big problem and the next big problem. So ask yourself, what's, what's the big sales or marketing problem that I need to solve, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get more content like this delivered to you. And if you are curious, I am now offering fractional CMO services for a limited number of clients, uh, specifically in the high ticket expert business niches. So things like coaching, uh, you know, course creation, events, masterminds, that sort of thing. Uh, and if you'd like to have me help you solve your big marketing problems, you can check out the link in the description to that. I do offer a complimentary uh, intro call, you know, just to see if it's a fit and to see if it's worth having more of a conversation. All right, go out there and solve some big problems. I'm Roy Fur, this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and I'll catch you again in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. 
Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.